This is the weather forecast video for Wednesday, June the 15th, 2011. Let's take a look at the satellite image from last evening. You can see a complex of thunderstorms over the state and down into Oklahoma and North Texas with the storm system that is currently moving through the middle part of the country. Watch warning map from last evening shows an expiring severe thunderstorm watch over Oklahoma, flash flood watch over southern Iowa down into Missouri and Illinois that expires later this morning. Otherwise, the rest of the nation is fairly quiet. Let's take a look at some rivers. This is the Missouri River at Sioux City. It's been pretty steady around 33 feet the last few days. It will rise slowly toward 34 feet by this weekend, still in moderate flood. Here's the Missouri River at Omaha, been slowly rising for the last few days up to 33 feet. It's expected to remain around 33 to 33 and a half feet through this weekend and early next week. And here is Cedar Creek near Busey. This is in south central Iowa. This is a result of heavy rains over the last few days. As you can see, the, r the creek has gone way up, way down, and way up again. It's expected to go back down. Here's the QPF chart with rainfall over the next five days through Sunday evening at 7 o'clock, and that includes last night's rain upwards of 2 to 3 inches over the eastern and northeastern parts of the state, most of that occurring last night into this morning. Here's the Zero ZGFS model run at 1 p.m. today. You can see a bit of a storm system over the center part of the country with another one over the Pacific North Northwest. With that, you can see the rain beginning to pull out as most of the moisture will be in the extreme eastern counties of the state this morning and into the early afternoon before clearing. Thursday will likely be a in between day with one system to the northeast and one to the southwest so it will be dry most of the day with maybe a late shower Friday here comes the next one low pressure over Kansas with some chances of some showers and thunderstorms returning to the state at that time as we head into the weekend there's still a slight chance of an isolated shower or storm around especially in the morning and, and then again in the evening. Sunday looks to be about the same story, maybe more isolated, more likely in the evening than any other time of the day, so most of the weekend will be dry except for a few isolated showers. We begin the new work week on Monday. Here comes a cold front moving in from the northwest with another chance of some showers and thunderstorms, albeit isolated. Tuesday the front has moved through. The chances will decrease as the day wears on. By afternoon it should be dry across the state with slightly cooler temperatures. A week from today you can see there's a trough over the center part of the country thus bringing in the slightly cooler temperatures. And with the slightly cooler temperatures comes more chances of showers and thunderstorms as we're at the edge of voodoo at this point a week out. We move ahead further. Here's the 27th of June. Here's the 588 Ridge centered over about Kansas with the main storm track well to the north and you can see maybe a shower possibly Monday evening over the northern counties of the state otherwise it will be breezy and hot and at the end of the forecast period on June the 30th, the ridge retrogrades back to the west, centered over the desert southwest with a trough over the north central and the Great Lakes states. And the surface shows some chances of some showers and storms around, but according to this model run, not in the state. So it will be interesting to see in future runs. Thank you for tuning in to the weather forecast video. We'll have another one tomorrow.